An Introduction to Applied Mathematics by Jaeger and Starfield. This is the second edition. This is a soft cover. That's one thing I don't like about this book. And I usually don't mind soft covers, but this is a thick soft cover, so you see, look what happens. Well, it stayed open that time, but a lot of times, like if I'm, if I'm like say I want to go here, you see that? So it makes it kind of annoying. Here it talks a little bit about the book. Let's read this. This undergraduate textbook is concerned with applying mathematics to physical and engineering problems. Cool. Yeah. The new edition reflects the fact that numerical methods are now much a part of applied mathematics as the formal theory of ordinary and partial differential equations. Cool. And let's take a look at the inside. 1974, Oxford at the Clarendon Press, it says. Ah, oh, it's printed in Great Britain. Cool, right, look at that. At the University Press, Oxford, by Vivian Riddler, printer to the university. Ha, <laughs> how cool is that? Oh, wow, first edition, 1951. This one's from 1974. And then here are the contents. Yeah, this is a soft cover. I wish mine was hardcover. I don't know if you can get a hardcover. I don't know. Um, but I'm happy I got it. I got this book because uh, someone had left a comment. This is a long time ago. They're like, oh, check out this book. So I was like, all right, I looked it up. And uh, it wasn't super cheap. Um, but you see, it's got a lot of specialized topics that you don't see in other books, um, you know, particle dynamics, rigid dynamics, the energy equation, and Lagrange's equations. Um, it's an applied math book, so it's got specialized topics that, so if you've never taken an applied math class, you'll see like a lot of cool math um, in these books. If you've taken like a partial differential equations course, um, you know, or, or regular differential equations, you, there's math, you know, there's th there are things that you'd You've probably seen. It's got some matrix stuff, different different equations. Here's some more PDEs. So it's just like a, it's just a ton of different topics. Yeah, a ton of different topics uh, on mathematics. A lot of math topics. Just looking here again to see something. Yeah. Okay. So it does have it does have a lot of DE, which is good, which is good. So this is a good book because if you've, if you've already had differential equations and you use a book like this, or if you've already had like, let's just say calc two, maybe the full calc sequence. And then, you, you know, I think that this could be a good book for you to, to use for self-study and learn. Uh, but you're gonna wanna know calculus, you know, you're gonna wanna have some, uh, you know, mathematical maturity uh, behind your back. Uh, you know, the ability to, you know, get through some calculus courses and learn calculus. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm That's uh, cool stuff. Laplace transformation method. Yeah, Laplace transform. So that's what's happening here. Uh, these are this is a table of Laplace transforms. And it's really interesting because uh, this book gives you different uh, formulas than some of the other books, right? I have other books. Uh, I have books on differential equations and, I, and I've taught differential equations and the formulas that I give are very different from these. And the formulas in other books are different from these. No, no, no two books are exactly the same, but um, it's kind of interesting the ones uh, that you see in this book. So these are some of the ones that are given or the ones that are given. So. For example, the Laplace transform of the cosine of uh, omega x is um, p over p squared plus omega squared. And it's got you know differential equations you can solve. That's really easy. You can almost solve that in your head, right? You just divide by one over one plus y squared, and you integrate both sides. So you get arctan y equals x plus c. Um, what is this? Did I get it right? Let's see. If I got it wrong, uh, I won't edit this video. So let's see. Examples on chapter three. Let's see. Page 72, number one. Um, 
Let's see if we can find. I don't think. Yeah, it has answers. Yeah, I didn't think it did. But anyways, kind of a cool book. <clears throat> Um, that's a big downside, right? No answers in the back of the book uh, to the exercises. That's really, really annoying. What was that, page 75? Sometimes, let's just go back. Well, it wasn't 75. Oh, this one, it was here, it was 72. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, here, here it is, right here. Here's the solution. That's what I was looking for x equals arc 10 y plus c, it's right there. So that is correct, right? Because I said 10 y um, equals x plus c. Yeah, it's the same thing, good stuff. So a lot of times these applied math books, that's why I came back to here to look, we'll do that. They'll, they'll put the answers uh, like there in the, um, you know, in, the extra, in, the, in the exercises. But a lot, of, a lot of times happens in older books. A lot of newer books do not do that. They usually put them uh, in the back of the book. But in some of the older books I have, that does actually happen. And it's not consistent across subjects. For example, um, I have the book by Kreisig uh, does not do that, right? So um, his, his applied math book. So, so and that's you know, the same, same type of mathematics. Uh, that one has slightly different topics, though, uh, than this one. So if you already have the Kreisig book, you think, oh, I don't need another applied math book. Um, this does have, I think this does have different topics. So, yeah, as we saw. So, kind of cool. Just wanted to show you this book. Um, and again, originally I heard about this book uh, from a subscriber here on the channel. Someone had uh, left a comment. They were saying, oh, you should, you should check out this book. And I bought it, and it wasn't cheap. And um, I'll leave a link in the description in case you um, want to check it out. Key takeaway from this video is that uh, this is a pretty good book on applied mathematics and applied mathematics is something that you can learn on your own once you've had again you're going to need some calc one two three you know do some calculus or if you've had differential equations even better uh, and you'll be able to like buy this book and actually learn if you don't know calculus then no this is not really i, I don't think this is a book uh, for you so but i mean you can still buy it I'm not, i i don't want to say don't buy a book because it's too advanced because I don't believe in that. I have some really, really crazy books. Uh, I probably should make videos on them. They're like insanely, like super weird, weird, weird specific math. Like it's just crazy stuff. Um, so yeah. Anyways, if you're not a subscriber and you felt like you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. If not, it's okay too. And until next time, just gonna give it a one more whiff here. Just ah, keep doing mathematics. Take care.